Welcome back, everyone. September is PCOS Awareness Month. PCOS is one of the most common causes of female infertility. Dr. Jeremy Grohl joins us now with more on this very common disease. Tell us what it is. And so now polycystic ovary syndrome is actually the single most common hormonal problem in reproductive age women. And it's a combination of women having too much testosterone and with trouble with their cycle, either irregular or infrequent cycling, and uh, polycystic ovaries. So what would the symptoms be? So with the testosterone, women will have oftentimes uh, increase in facial hair or acne. They may even have a um, problem in terms of scalp hair loss. And then with the irregular cycles, they may go where they only have one per year. And so having uh, very unpredictable uh, menstrual cycling. If we can put the picture back up real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry about that, Dominica. Uh, they, they were showing a picture of, there we go, normal yes. ovary and, and, and a polycystic ovary. And so what essentially happens is that the normal control for ovulation gets short-circuited. So as opposed to having one uh, egg develop each month, you get many little ones that just kind of smolder. And so that women don't go through ovulation in a regular fashion. And what happens is that over time, the uterine lining can build up, and that can put them actually at risk for uterine cancer. So that's a real long-term health problem for these women. And then they also have trouble often times with their sugar metabolism and one of the biggest causes is women having a high insulin uh, which comes from insulin resistance so basically real high carbohydrate diets and low exercise where their blood sugar goes up and the insulin actually is what causes a lot of these problems not only having trouble ovulate but they also are at risk for miscarriage, up to 40 to 50 percent risk of miscarriage. Wow, wow. So I actually look at that for people who have unfortunately recurrent losses as well, uh, so that we can not only get pregnant but stay pregnant. And how do we help these women? And so one of the first things is nutrition and exercise. Uh, we actually wrote a book a few years ago with my wife Lori and called Fertility Foods. And with that, it outlines a way to lower the insulin naturally through nutrition and exercise. A real good take home point is that a lot of people get extra sugars through their beverages. Right. Um, right. Sodas, sweet teas, uh, energy drinks, that all of those have extraordinarily high sugar amount where just in one or two sodas, you can actually get your entire carb requirement for the day in just pure sugar. Wow. And so it's a real big thing to cut out. One in 10 women have problems getting pregnant. That's right. Wow. And so, and many people just assume other uh, women are getting pregnant naturally. Yeah. And so they don't realize that they had sought assistance or had uh, treatments to help them achieve pregnancy. So, with polycystic ovary syndrome, this is a very common problem that people may or may not realize they have. And we have many great options to help them uh, improve their hormones and achieve a healthy pregnancy. Doctor, how do we find you? So, we are over at the corner of Alex Bell and Clio. It's 7095 Clio Road, and our number is 937-458-5084. So anyone with questions or concerns, you know, please feel free to give us a call and learn more about the problem. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you.